guys, Sarah here, and today we are going to be doing a triple decker sandwich pour. Uh, what I am gonna do is start with this cup, and what a triple decker sandwich pour is, is it's actually three layers of white with color in between, but not a lot of color, just a little bit. Uh, so we are going to start off by doing that. I have my canvas uh, propped up on two cups here, and now I'm gonna just add these cups here for now just so that I can layer up my cup. So naturally with a triple decker sandwich pour, we are going to start with white, a white layer first. And then I think what I'm gonna do is drizzle enough 24K gold to cover the white. And this is mixed equal parts, Floetrol and paint. Then I'm gonna come in and I'm going to add some Arteza's Prussian Blue. And this is mixed four parts Floetrol to one part Arteza Prussian Blue paint. And then we're gonna come in with Pebeos iridescent green blue which I can't remember how I mixed it for the life of me at the moment um, so I do apologize for that now the next step is really important and that is so that no white paint falls through the other colors to the lower level of white paint so we're gonna start off by just covering the paints and it has to be the perfect consistency in order for it not to sink. So I'm just gonna keep going. And add the white. Being sure not to break through the colors. And now what we're gonna do is we are gonna layer up our cup again. And I think this time I'm going to start with Prussian blue. And then I'm gonna come in with the gold. And then the iridescent green blue by Pebeo. Put that over there and the blue over there and then again we're going to come in real gentle here and all the white as the top layer of the sandwich and that is what we're gonna do. Now I do have an extra cup here, just in case I have to layer it up for more coverage, but I'm hoping that I can utilize it um, or not utilize it and just work with this one. So the other thing with my sandwich pours that I do is we start at an elevated angle and I'm just gonna let the paint go down on its own and let gravity take over. I'm gonna come back up just a smidge. And then I'm gonna continue on down to the bottom. 
Now after this one's done, I'm gonna show you the dried results of the last one that I did. I'm gonna add some white here to help carry it the way. And then we're gonna stretch it out. So I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna bring it down this way. I did one last week um, that actually really just turned out beautifully. When it was wet, it was one way, but as it sat, it created a new look with more cells. So I will show you the dried results of that one in just a moment. I'm just trying to move it down. And we're gonna go down onto this side. And maybe we'll turn this around for you. Now we're gonna work on this edge. This is a technique. We'll go over the cons perfect consistencies for this um, at the Fluid Art Boutique in Delray Beach, Florida, October 8th through 10th. So the link for that event is below and we hope to see you guys there. I really love how beautiful these turn out when they dry all the way. And I'm just moving this around a little more because we clearly have enough paint on the canvas that we can manipulate the composition while tilting. And it gives a beautiful, soothing effect. Almost like a slice, a slice of agate. So that is this piece here. And uh, hopefully, if it's dry in time, I will show you the dried results coming up next. And just make sure you get your corners after and all that fun stuff. All right, so before we travel on um, to the next one for the next video, um, I'm gonna just give this a quick torch. And then also we do have some left over here in the cup and you can always come in with your leftover paint and bring a line in, which we'll do here. And here. That's fun. All right, so we're gonna bring you guys in so you can take a look. All right, so here we go. And I love the gold cells because they also have the iridescent green blue by Pebio. Um, let me get on this side. They're so cool. They're like little multicolored cells. And this is gonna continue developing as it dries. And yeah, it's gonna be great. So here's the blue with the Prussian, I'm sorry, here's the Prussian blue with the gold. There's gonna be some more cells in here and in this area, but I just love the little green circular boulders and all of that jazz. So let me just quickly show you. This is the dried result of the first sandwich pour I did. And if you go back to that video, you're gonna see there is not as many cells as it's showing you. I got it over the white under the white light now so you can see the colors. But um, I think I'm gonna resin this piece and all of them so they look pretty cool. But these are really, really neat. They're calming, they're soothing and uh, Lots of fun to create. Oh, sorry for the shaky camera. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for much.
uh, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click the link below and check out the Fluid Art Boutique. Sign up for classes with seven of our wonderful artists that we have. And um, yeah. All right, guys, I hope to see you in Florida. Have a great day. So I wanted to show you guys the dried results of this sandwich pour. And I'm loving all of the colors. So just like the last one that I did, the pink one with the purple and coral, I'm actually going to resin them. So both of them will be resined. And then in my next video, it is not a sandwich pour, but it is a collaboration piece of pearl pours with Michelle Galley, who will also be at Fluid Art Boutique in Delray Beach, Florida. And um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to watch Saturday's premiere. And um, then Monday I'll have a new sandwich pour to put up. Have a great day. Bye.